This is Mornings. Mornings. With Ian Hedgekin. Get your mornings off to a great start on 891. 891. ABC Adelaide. Good morning and welcome to a very special edition of the morning program organised by my good friends at breakfast who have decided that I have sort of passed to the other side because they're, they're giving me a memorial tree. If you haven't caught up with this, it's going to be a memorial bottle brush. And So David Bevan is down here. We have the Mayor of Prospect, David O'Loughlin, and, and Matthew. Of course, I think it was your idea all this, wasn't it? Oh, no, well, you whinged about the tree disappearing here, mm. even though it was a hazard of courier t- truck drivers coming into the ABC here at Collinswood. So um, the council workers um, over there, who have done most of the work with real shovels and they've got real muscles. Nick and, yeah, and, they haven't Nick got and Troy. Nick and Troy, welcome. Yeah. Uh, come, up, come over here, come Nick on, and Troy. Come on, fellas. We're yeah. going to plant this. Actually, quite Nick a big bottle Troy. brush, isn't it? I thought it'd be a little sapling. No, it's a lovely looking tree, beautiful tree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, worth many thousands of dollars because the United States Forestry Association values this tree at 57,000 well, US dollars. I, I don't know about this particular we have, we have tree. A considerable discount on that. Yeah, you you come in here. Did you? Right, now, yeah, come just in, to come paint a picture, off. we're standing out here. David and I are in our high vis gear. We've got gum boots on. David's got the shovel he very thoughtfully bought his wife. I don't think that the hole's wide enough because yeah. Ashley and John said dig wide, not deep. So I'm going to make it wider. Da- you get in there, David. Hang on. Oh, there goes my helmet. Oh, Matthew. Oh, bloody hell, I've lost the helmet. Now, there's, been, there's been an accident. Matthew <laughs> Abraham's yellow hat has fallen into the hole. Now, you're Troy. Yes. Uh, and you're... You're Nick. Yep. I do love it when people have their names on their, on, on their gear. Now, Troy, how hard was it digging this hole for Ian? Um, wasn't that hard at all, to be honest with you. No. It, it, well, were they had been drilled out before. When the last tree was no. taken out, they had a big driller thing yeah. down here that drilled the hole. That's, that's true. That took it out, though. But putting yeah. it in, it takes a bit of work. Do you go for, the, for deep, or do you think for a tree it's got to be wide? Um, well, a bit of depth and width is good, but yeah. uh, definitely a little bit more width with this one. Yeah. I understand some people were out here thinking it really was a memorial tree and wanted you to make it six foot deep for, for Ian. Were they encouraging you? <laughs> I didn't hear any reports about that. No. Now, look, uh, John Lamb was on this morning, and John Lamb, of course, is the, the guru of gardening, and John was very concerned about the amount of organic material mm, yeah. in there. I, I was going to throw in my banana skin this morning. What yeah. have you thrown in in terms of organic material and composted material, to be exact? Well, there is definitely composted material in there, which is great for the tree, but um, it's just all natural. Yeah, it's all now, natural. Okay. Now, yeah. the, the Mayor, and I think it's fair to say, Ian, now the election's over, we can reveal that uh, uh, David O'Loughlin is possibly the best Mayor prospect has ever had. Hang on, the elections are coming up. <laughs> oh, I meant the state election. No, 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 oh, he's running for both, isn't he? That's well, right. Yeah. Well, he'd be unchallenged, wouldn't yeah. he, in the, in the election for Mayor. No one would even bother. Uh, David, welcome. <laughs> Thanks very much. Great to have you guys out here just giving us a kick, and they were delighted to come down and put a tree in just in response to your call. But I did ask the CEO, as I said yesterday, whether you'd paid the rates, and apparently you haven't. So, Ian, oh, thank you. Oh, you you brought bill. the rates. Here's oh. the bill for this year's rates. Wow. $2,777. Okay, will you look after that, David? Yeah, yeah look, I'll put that David, on, my, um, on my expenses account. Just you, haven't <laughs> paid, you haven't paid for 40 years. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Five, yeah. Five, I, I, Ian, so let's take it up with Gough Whitlam. He's the one that put the bill in here. <laughs> let's have a, go and send that to Gough as a birthday let's present have a for his fight. 98th birthday. Now, like, it's Nick, pouring rain at the moment. Yeah, but, but they've actually gone to the trouble of laminating the bill. Yes. Um, so the capital value is $18.6 million. Wow. Yeah. wow. Let's We're sell it. Hang on. Now the, <laughs> the, the, hang on. Don't say that. It could be listening. The you know, it would make a great hospital. The general rate sounds quite reasonable to me. It's 0.006585. Oh. That's enough. That's enough. That's, come on. That's come cheap. on. Come on. $30,000 quality. Let's get this tree. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, let's get this, oh, we keep the let's get this tree in. We okay. Keep the bill. Right. David, roll up your sleeves. Oh, you have. I have. definitely keep I have. the bill. Right, now, okay. Give us a check. Yeah. What, what do we do next, fellas? Just put the tree in? Put Spence, tree in. can you put that in petty cash, <laughs> that bill? <laughs> Spence, yeah, we've got to take the bag out. Yes. It's, not a, it's not a good omen today, actually, but it's good for the tree because it's damp oh. and windy and the tree will not be stressed in any way, shape or form this morning. It's and about Ian, to isn't, go it, in now. isn't it symbolic also, Ian, that this is new life? It is new life. Yes. It is new life, exactly. And, uh, yes. and, it's, and it's a bottle brush, not one of those stupid sort of trees that drop, you know, little no, ball bearings. No, and the birds are around here. They'll be tweeting about this later on today. Oh. I'm sure they'll be See, tweeting and Facebooking this tree all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> well, birds do tend to tweet, don't That's they? That's right. This is... <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at it. Perfect. And there is organic material there. A lot of organic material. 
Now, look, this makes me think about the environment and the fact that we should have had the head of the EPA down here today because he agreed to come on our program this morning and, and talk wouldn't about... And why wouldn't he want to be here? I don't know. I've got no idea. But anyway, he's not here, and uh, we had this half hour blocked out for uh, discussion about toxic material in the ground, in the air, um, Which in is the water. what you think? Well, you yeah. think the EPA would be across that? Yeah, well, anyway, maybe they have just uh, postponed. But I did actually decide that we would still discuss the matter this morning. And you might remember that Stephen Marshall had a few things to say over the last week or two. I think he thinks that the head of the department, um, the minister, should resign. Uh, yeah, all well, sorts of things. Well, so, as David fills in the tree and does the hard work here, and we're impressed. Hmm. Yeah, well, I think.